This is a truly remarkable moment in American politics where one party has shut down half of the legislative branch and the pressure is on. The speaker is a constitutional requirement and is needed not just because the U.S. government is quickly running out of money, but because of a series of crises on the world stage. Louisiana Representative Steve Scalise, the current majority leader, backed by the former speaker, barely eked out Ohio's Jim Jordan, who's backed by Donald Trump. That deep divide makes it unclear if he can secure the 217 votes needed when this eventually moves to the House floor. His predecessor needed more than a dozen rounds of voting to take the gavel and then was criticized for giving a few on the fringes of the party too much power. But the House needs someone at the top because without that person, legislative work is at a standstill to the point that even a resolution condemning the barbaric attack on Israel can't be passed. Now tied up in this party overhaul is more than $3 billion in appropriated funds for the Iron Dome defense system in Israel and potential defense spending for Ukraine, with the man vying for the top spot, pushing to ensure America doesn't let its allies down. We have a lot of work to do, uh, not just in the house for the people of this country, but we see how dangerous of a world it is and how things can change so quickly. And our first resolution uh, that uh, we pass under Speaker Steve Scalise will be to make it clear that we stand with Israel. But intraparty divisions will keep the House closed for the time being, with some of Scalise's colleagues insisting they will not vote for him. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.